Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Probably due for a greed run today, but as who? I'm assuming that little dot 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 there is for greed mode? No, greed mode must be the penny then. You know what, let's do an Eden greed mode then. And we'll try to just uh, complete this. Apparently the posted bug doesn't stop you from getting more completion. Oh my god, what do we have here? We have mysterious uh, multi-dimensional baby was just on top of us when we started. And then this scalpel thing that I don't know about, but uh, WFRE RRJP. The, the bug only affects um, the visuals. It doesn't actually affect whether or not you've actually gotten the, the progress that you've gotten, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. Uh, so hopefully we can actually unlock some stuff here. And, you know, I don't know if we're ever gonna get to, uh, oh, that's pretty good too. I don't know if we're ever gonna get to the point where we're getting 999 cents in our greed mode donation machine, but at the same time, we gotta give it the old college try. I would love to buy synth oil here. I would love to see what the scalpel does as well, but we're gonna have to wait a second to make that happen. Second, um, we have created a pulsing blue hole. If we travel through that, I'm sure that we go to some place we probably don't want to be. Uh, my guess would be the blue womb, because that's the entrance uh, to the womb, except it's blue. So my my hunch is that this probably takes us someplace we don't really want to be. Why don't we try? If we if we can't get through it, or if we if we can go through it and we go to someplace new, at least it's someplace new, right? I think we owe it to ourselves and to the to the lovely viewers at home as well to give this a try when we can. Probably can't do it yet because there's enemies on the screen. I don't know if we'll ever be able to do it, actually, but we'll try to find out. We're not killing enemies quickly enough to be super stoked, but uh, hopefully that changes soon. But we will be able to buy a key after this section. All right, multi-dimensional baby. Oh, multi-dimensional baby. I was so excited that I thought we had the multi-dimensional baby effect uh, without actually having multi-dimensional baby. I was like, this is just awesome new, uh, like, high damage tiers for us, but instead it is... Uh, it's just multi-dimensional baby for the 336,000th time uh, in Afterbirth so far. Whenever there's a new Rebirth piece of uh, media, a new Rebirth property, if you will, there's always an item that shows up way more than it should, disproportionately so at the start of the, the lifespan for me that has been multi-dimensional baby. It's just all over the place. I'm hoping that the scalpel here doesn't end up being like, um, what am I thinking of here? It's so bad, I barely even remember. Breath of Life, yeah, if it ends up being like that, I'm gonna be uh, disappointed. But uh, if it doesn't end up being like that, then I'm gonna be the opposite of that, which must be appointed. Perhaps to a senatorial position or something like that, because that senatorial whip, Frank Underwood. I say that Breath of Life is not as bad. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. We can't, we can't go down here. Uh. Oh, it's a portal, it's a portal. This is a portal gun? This something about this doesn't seem right. Uh, maybe we do want BFF actually because it can. Um... I'm thinking about. It. I think Box of Spiders is better for us, even though the portal item is new. Ah, whatever. If the portal item's new, we gotta go for it, right? So we can go. Hey, hey. Okay, that's kind of cool. I guess we can use that for dodges. Give ourselves an out up there. It's interesting, at least. We'll use Box of Spiders once, and then try this again. The reason I think Box of Spiders is actually functionally going to be a lot better is because we'll be able to use it multiple times per wave. Um, but, again, having the option to have these portals is kind of like a last-ditch effort. It's kind of cool, I guess. I think it's kind of cool, at least. Um... Just keep ourselves as far away as possible. We don't want to lose a lot of HP here to start with, but it's actually a really good start for a greed run, if I'm being honest with you. Having this much HP is really nice, and it gives us a, a genuine chance. Oh, Lord. It gives us a genuine chance at uh, actually surviving for the first little bit here, which is always a little dangerous. Portal plus um, multi-dimensional baby kind of seems terrible. Because the multi-dimensional baby takes an extra couple of seconds to zip back over to us. But when it gets here, there we go. We can do a little extra damage. I mean, we don't have to do this forever, but it just seemed like it was a proper protocol for a while there. This should be good damage. I'm kind of on the fence. I would like to maybe get both Synth Oil and BDF or BFF. I'm not sure if BFF is actually going to be... Uh, I don't think it'll give multi-dimensional baby any more 
of a damage multiplier on the shots that it puts through. But on the bright side, it will probably give us a larger hitbox for it, which could pay for itself very, very quickly. But I think we're going to start with Synth Oil, just because we can. And then maybe we'll pick up a battery charge instead. So I didn't get the ghost to stand here for a long time. Then we're going to go like that. See how many shots we can get in in that appropriate situation. And it doesn't look like the answer is that many, unfortunately for us. That's okay. We stand in the same place. If we occupy the same place, we do get the, the damage bonus for it. So as long as we don't have to dodge, we're not going to dodge. And I... Balls of steel a little bit there, but it actually managed to work for us. So I'm excited. All right. Larry Jr. is going to die. We're going to get a deal with the devil. We're going to take it. Pretty much regardless of what it is, just so we can get precedent. And it's Rotten Baby, which is great to begin with. So I say we buy our key and head down to the next floor so we can get our item right off the bat. Sorry, BBF or BFF. I don't know why I'm getting that wrong all of a sudden. But if we can uh, make that work in the future, if it shows up again, I would like to. For now, portal item, interesting. And that's about it. Um, okay, Scorpio is okay. HP is not glamorous. But kind of a necessary evil nonetheless. So we'll create, get our portal set up. Come in here, hopefully pick up a guppy item or some good pills. Lock up is fine. Explosive diarrhea is... Uh, I don't want to say largely irrelevant, but it would have been awesome if I could have gotten it on this room. <laughs> oh well. Um, we'll just take some damage here. There's some hearts available to us. My hope is that I'll be able to buy... Uh, I guess meat first, even though lump of coal might actually be better. I want to pick up meat first, so we have more HP to work with on future gambles. And that is a lot of HP to work with there, so I'm very excited about the way that worked out. Let's give this a try. Got a nice little damage bonus from Synth Oil and Meat. There you go, stand right there. Unfortunately, that took way longer than I expected. What's going to be the next item we pick up? I mean, Lump of Coal seems like it would be really, really good for us. I was waiting for those explosions. Um... I don't know about what else we could possibly uh, get from there. I don't really remember what they had, so we'll just we'll cool it for now. We'll definitely do the deal with the devil challenge here because we're we're getting strong. I mean, I think that's the thing that maybe makes greed mode, if it is easier, which I don't necessarily agree with. I seem to find an easier time just with the regular runs for now. But if greed mode is easier, I think it's probably easier because you can choose the actual items you want. You can also reroll them if you don't like them. Like maybe you don't like lump of coal enough to take it here, but I do. Um, maybe so. The, the the fact that you have some agency there, I think, gives uh gives you a good ability to kind of you know tailor your run towards the items you actually want. You have more choice than on your average run, I guess. Is what I'm what I'm getting to in an extremely roundabout fashion. Already done with this one. Uh, not quite gonna have enough money to buy anything else. So we'll probably do the same thing we did last time and just buy a key. That is poor damage on my part. This is going to be worse, but yeah, there's nothing I... I guess I should have jumped in the portal. Oh, God. We're getting kind of pooped on a little bit here. But that's okay. Got a lot of HP to make up for it anyway. Keep ourselves back. And we did it. Okay. Not, not really my strongest performance, but I can live with it. Inside of our devil room. This time, we definitely want ceremonial robes. Uh, I can't imagine us not liking Leech in this situation. I can't, by the same token, I can't really imagine us liking uh, Fortune Teller. Not Fortune Teller, Ouija Board. I saw a Fortune Teller there. Uh, I guess we'll buy a key so we can do the same thing we did last time. Actually, you know what? Buy a key. Get two keys. Picked up a penny out of it as well. Um, I, ooh, it's a bit of a risk. Let's try, though. We didn't get anything for that one, but maybe we can get something here. Two cents. Was it worth it? Eh, 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 kind of on the fence, but I'll take it. We got some good stuff on this floor. Scorpio's okay. I think Leech is going to be really good for us, disproportionately so relative to the normal game. We'll see, though. Uh, we, we'll see. First off, in our shop. Chaos, I think, can be awesome or terrible, but it's interesting, which is what's so cool about it. We will take Tiny Planet. I don't know how this is going to work with Multidimensional Baby. Having torn photos going to help. This is probably where I should warn you. If you are photo sensitive, you may want to consider turning this episode off because of the uh, flashing lights that you're going to see here from uh, multi-dimensional babies. So please take that as fair warning. And uh, let's let's begin anew here. 
I think it's actually going to make it a little bit easier for me to play my set it and forget it style with, with multi-dimensional baby. Not to say that it's going to be great, but especially because we got Lump of Coal Tiny Planet. Now if we can get that extra, you know, damage uh, on our, our shots that travel even longer and manage to pass through the baby at one point, that is pretty sweet for us. Like, we're starting to kind of steamroll this a little bit, which is really cool. Um, but I still want to keep making us stronger. I'm more interested in actually beating Greed Mode with all the characters than getting Greed Mode, um... You know, getting that donation machine up as high as possible. So I do think that Chaos is an interesting choice for us here. We get uh, Black Candle, which I don't think is, is really relevant, if I'm being honest. Uh, I, I will take HP. I do think HP is important in this mode. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I could hazard a guess based on what it, you know, it looks like it re-rolls. Because it looks like the re-roll machine. But I don't know for sure. Now this will be a real test. Because this boss can be a little bit troublesome for many, many different reasons. But one of them is because he's a big old jerk who smells bad and nobody likes him. But he's basically dead anyway. And we'll do our deal with the devil. Which is exactly the same boss over again. Really, the, the trans-dimensional baby shots are out of control. It's hard for me to dodge appropriately here, but when I actually manage to get the shots to hit, it is beautiful. Like that one right there. This boss is now dead. And we're golden. Another deal with the devil, which I will take. This time... I hate this guy. But... We may want to play as Infamy. Or uh, pick up Infamy, I should say. We already have a key. I don't think we need a Spirit Heart. We don't need a Battery Charge. Let's just head down to the next floor. I'm feeling pretty strong about this run right now, to be honest with you. Not strong like it's a guaranteed win. Like, we are a little low on HP, but that's what Infamy's for. That's what the Leech is for. Maybe I should slow down on deals with the Devil that are not perfect for us, but... Mm, here... I would love to pick up the mark. Won't cost us HP, just cost us money. This is what's great about Chaos. Um, take Luckfoot. And honestly, I think we're really going to want Book of Belial. The portal item has been cool, but Book of Belial giving us a damage bonus for every, basically for a very, very long period of time, seems like that could be extremely useful for us. So uh, I'm going to come up here as well. Let's, let's shoot the fire. Before it shoots us would be ideal. There's 14 cents, so we want to get the mark right away. And then Brother Bobby, Sister Maggie, we don't give a shit about, basically. Just wait for the shots to die down, then we'll blow these guys up. Two more cents. Uh, I think we'll try to donate first, just to get them swapped. And then we got a Guppy's Head option. I like the idea of picking it up, but is it worth getting one Guppy item when we have Chaos? Like, there could be Guppy items showing up everywhere, or there could be Guppy items showing up nowhere because of the new pools, so... They'll probably stay away from it for now. I know Book of Belial has been nerfed, or it's bugged at least. I think it's probably nerfed, though, in that it doesn't actually give you a guaranteed uh, deal with the devil anymore. Supposedly. I haven't played as Judas myself yet, so I'm not sure, but uh, it seems like it's still disproportionately amazing for greed mode, where you can basically get like six rooms worth of value out of Book of Belial for one charge. As long as we... Uh you know, keep good on that. We should be fine for a while here. We got we've built up a, enough time that I don't mind that we didn't kill this guy right away. But now it's a little bit of a problem. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be at more than 15 cents. Okay. So we are gonna be able to buy something. We might want a key as well. Good. That was fine. Um, you know what? Out of all these, I think we'll. I think we'll just re-roll. They re-rolled into the exact same items. That doesn't seem right. We can also blow it up for a guaranteed re-roll, which I, I prefer right now. Um, yeah, Mom's Contact seems awesome here. What was our other item that showed up? Dead Bird. Uh, because it would last longer, I think maybe it's better in greed mode than it is in the regular version of the game, but that's still not that encouraging, you know? Make sure your dodges are on point here, and then you'll sh you should be doing enough damage to these enemies to not be too worried about it. It does suck that we have uh, Mom's Contact and Scorpio, because Scorpio is, of course, unfortunately going to poison enemies and make them unable to be frozen for a while. But, you know, whenever the, the Mom's Contact effect actually works, assuming it does, thank you, Infamy, then I will be, uh, I'll be thrilled. That'll allow us to do a lot of damage. Okay, 
Mask is almost dead. Easy fight. We will, of course, do our deal with the Devil, which is basically the exact same wave. <laughs> Except instead of Polycephalus, we have a second Mask. To be honest with you, in this rare situation, that may actually make things easier on us. Normally, Mask of Infamy is much harder, but... You know, we're, we're basically only dodging melee attacks, so as long as we keep ourselves out of the, the line of fire, we're totally fine. This guy's not going to be able to hit us. And it, we'll just eventually he'll die. It's basically like he's taking damage over time, because we can't really control whether or not he gets hit from each shot. Deal with the Devil. It contains Krampus. Considering we already bought Lump of Coal, I'm hoping for anything but Krampus' head. Lovely. <laughs> I guess we'll buy a key and head down to the next floor. Might as well shoot this. I had faith that it would extinguish. Um, I don't know if we're getting that much stronger. I mean, we didn't take anything else on this floor. We should shoot that for money, I guess. I'm kind of banking on some big items. Our Ultra Greed might actually be a little tricky for us here. But we'll see. Anarchist Cookbook is just god-awful. Oh my god! I mean, the homing tiers you'd think might be better, but... I don't think that's actually true in reality. Uh, we can get a battery charge. I don't think that's worth very much, though. So let's blow this up instead. And I push that out of the way. But hey, is the steam sail just the world's most overpowered item in greed mode? It's the first time I've had it. Health down. That's real bad. Speed down is also pretty bad. But not necessarily to the point where we, we just give up here. But this is, uh, it's looking a little subpar. Steam Sail is awesome, though. That's going to allow us to ball out of control, even though we've only got a couple of floors left with which to do this said balling out of controlling. Hammer got a little wonky there. So Steam Sail for a bomb is just an amazing pickup. I don't think Book of Belial stacks, right? So I, I have no real need to crack into our second Book of Belial charge. We'll just save it for the next wave. Still got one more wave? Two more waves coming. Oh my god, these are the Grim Ghosts as well. The worst of all possible ghosts. Rodden Baby, you really shit the bed on that one, buddy. Where's my ghost? Oh, finally. Died! I didn't even see it! Well, I guess that's how you know it's truly a ghost in the end. 19 cents is almost... Well, 21 cents now. That's three deal with the devil items. Or three, um... Shop items, which could be deal with the devil items in this case. I think we do want the HP even at the expense of a uh, shot speed down. It comes with tears up as well, of course. Um, we have no reroll pedestal here. So if we want an item, we kind of, we just have to buy the previous item. That is real shitty. I think we just, instead, maybe buy this. Admittedly, probably would have been a better value to just pick up this instead. So I will get this first. And then we'll just, um... Hopefully take out these enemies, and then even if we don't buy anything from this shop, there's a shop on the next floor, I think. Unless, well, basically, I, I don't know. Those items that, we're, that we have the option to pick up are not worth anything anyway. So even if we can't buy anything else, even if this is our last floor for buying stuff, um, we're not going to sweat it too much. Because we could just donate that money if we win, and those items don't really give us a much better chance of winning. I will say, I, I'm pretty confident we do have one more floor coming, because uh, there's still, like, an item room here. And if I remember correctly, the last one before the boss, not with the boss, but before the boss, doesn't have any item rooms. It just has the shop and the curse room. So, you know, it's going to take us a while to learn the, the proper way, proper order of stuff, I guess. This is good. No item there is a little bit of a bummer, but it's it's all right. And inside of here, it's, it all sucks, right? It's at least not good enough. Yeah. Okay. So we will leave. And unfortunately, we're leaving the items behind as well, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Down to the next floor. And this is kind of the moment of truth here. It's our second to last floor before the Ultra Greed fight. Maybe we'll shoot the fire first just to make sure we can get as much as possible from our shop. I mean, if we get 21 cents, that's enough to buy uh, three items instead of just two. We gotta try to step on this. Oh, it's the ability to fly. Somewhat ironic, but still great. Um, and we will take homing bombs, I guess, which will definitely give us the ability to crack into this. 
This might be one of the rare situations in which nine lives is not something we want. But in order to get rid of it, we have to buy it. Uh, let's try this room. I don't know, man. We got a live bomb. That was our, that was our bonus. Uh, let's buy Undefined because it's super weird in this situation. And then it rerolled our whole run. We have Mom's knife now, but we can't fire it, which to me means we probably have the Mom transformation. I can't shoot. I'm like not shooting at all. What is this? Triple A battery. I mean, my shots are more potent now, but <laughs> these are really shitty. This is a shitty uh, reroll. But where are all these trinkets coming from, man? I guess it's from uh, maybe we rerolled into like Cracker Jack or Crack Jacks, whatever it's called. Whatever they had to call it so they didn't get sued. This is such a bad run. I, I actually, like, am amazed. But maybe we come back as Dark Judas or something? I don't even know what some of our items are. I don't know what would make our tier effect, like, this this poor. Also, this knife, like, mom transformation, man. I have no idea. Enemies are gonna get up in our grill. Maybe... This is where I finally come to terms with the fact that not every run can be reroll city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty, right? Like, I'm, I'm kind of in a bit of a tough spot now as a result of that. But we could also get incredible rerolls coming soon. Like, on the next floor, who knows? Getting tarot cards like every single uh, room here, or every single wave, I should say. I guess that went well. We don't have Steam Sale anymore, which is pretty shitty. But we have a ton of keys if we could ever find something to do with them. Um, you know what? We should take nine lives then. But we probably shouldn't take it until the end. So we'll save our money and then we'll buy out nine lives and like the rest of the items. So we can get as many items as possible re-rolled with Undefined. So we can get um, the best chance possible at like, I don't know. Not even becoming guppy but just like living, living life the way we, we want to. Every enemy got frozen there when I took damage. Where did that shot come from? Can we talk about that? There was a... What is this tier? Is this like Dead Eye? Hold up. No, they're like sticky bomb shots. Okay. I have seen this synergy, but I've never actually gotten it myself, I think. Uh, okay, we'll fight these bosses here. Mostly because I don't want to fight these bosses um, with nine lives, because I will get screwed, basically. Do sticky bomb shots hurt me? I don't know. I'm kind of liking them right now, to be honest with you. That was the clutchest dodge I've ever made in my life. Again, we should probably take every deal with the devil item, even though I don't know if deal with the devil items technically get rerolled when you have something like undefined. But we're gonna find out, or maybe not, but I'm kind of, I'm in a glass case of emotion right now, you know? Like, I have no idea if this actually is, like, good for us or what. We have two lives with a question mark. And in a way, I'm kind of like, why wouldn't we just gamble, like, our life, our lives away here so we can maybe get something out of this? Similarly, like, we have Wheel of Fortune. Let's play this try to get some more HP. Should have played that guy twice. Question authority. Speed down. Probably not going to take that. The Gaz Rune will pop that. Purges our curse, but also gives us extra HP that we can use for the gamble. If you're confused about what I'm doing, basically, in my opinion here, whatever you want to call it, I'm farming up items. Oh, fucking retrovision, man. I'm farming up items so that I get more items rerolled. I am a freaking Cthulhu monster now. Can we talk about this as well? I'm, I'm a Cthulhu monster with tentacles and shit. Okay, now we're going to buy nine lives. Doesn't really matter what we buy next, I think, so let's buy the map, I guess, and then... Uh, we blow up some pots and maybe we'll be able to buy, um, be able to buy Pandora's box or something. I don't know. As soon as we go down to the next floor, we're going to be new anyway. Are we guppy? It looked like we created some flies there. Retrovision, dog. I think we are Cthulhu guppy monster. Hopefully that transformation stays. Otherwise, we're screwed. <laughs> uh, okay, what is going on now? Okay, yeah. 
Uh, there's like a godhead tier in there somewhere. I'm gonna be honest with you. The long and short of this is I have no fucking idea what happens next. We still have the mom transformation. We're still a big old spooky uh, Cthulhu monster. I'm pretty sure we're also gonna win. Uh, it's an ultra greed fight. We've also got retrovision, so we can't really see what the hell's happening at all. There's some shielded tiers happening, you know, at, at some point here. Um, one of our tiers just got extremely enormous and then stayed stuck to greed and kept growing. I don't really know what caused that, and to be honest with you, uh, I'm okay with that with that lack of knowledge, I suppose. I don't know, there's like a spinning fucking demon tier inside of our tiers there. We are going to win, and I have no idea why. That's interesting. This happens a lot in greed mode. I kind of feel like if there is an imbalance in greed mode, what it is is that you have to be pretty strong just to get it done in the first place. What are these bombs? You have to be pretty strong just to do okay in the first place. Uh, so you're disproportionately likely to like beat Ultra Greed, because if you even get to Ultra Greed, you've already gotten like a run that's pretty strong. Also, I find that the reroll items are like kind of overpowered. Mind you, we could have gotten screwed if we'd gotten our last reroll right here, but I've also had like two D100 runs that went completely, like, almost exactly the same way against Ultra Greed. They just, like, allowed me to steamroll them. We have some version of, like, the wafer as well. I have no idea what's happening, but we do have a enough money now that uh, I think we'll be able to donate quite a lot to our Greed donation machine as well, which is, yeah, that's the exciting part of doing business here. I don't really care if we take more damage. We have killed Ultra Greed. Pick up some more money. I don't really care if you hit me. Uh, I just want to blow these things up so we can get as much money as possible. Are we immune to bombs? Let's drop a bomb in here. No, I can hurt myself with bombs. Pick up as much money as possible. I would like to do this so that we can donate. Oh, but every time we get hit, because we're on the Ultra Greed fight, we lose money as well. So I don't think there's a way around that. We'll just donate as much money as we can. Why is the Greed one different for every single person? That's, that scares me. Alright. Well, we did it. <laughs> and we unlocked something too. GB Bug. Maybe, that looks like beating it with Undefined. I don't know. For now, thanks for watching. That was a weird run, but I'm happy we won. If you, did, if, uh, you liked it as well, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.